and that's a delicious mint chocolate syrup that we're going to use on our milkshake on Monday. We should give it a try though. That's a beautiful thick syrup. Delicious mint flavor, and rich chocolate. That's going to make a great milkshake on Monday. Add a cup and a half of golden yellow sugar to your saucepan. And one cup of water. One quarter of a cup of cocoa powder. Set your burner on high. Stir everything together and bring to a boil. And never use a whisk when you're stirring. Just use a wooden spoon. If you use a whisk, it can stir air uh, into your mixture and it can cause it to uh, foam up. Mixture starting to boil. We're going to turn it right back to low and stir it. We may have to remove it from the heat. We'll just see if it will settle, but if not, we'll remove it from the heat temporarily. Let's just remove it for a minute or so. Okay, we'll put our saucepan back on the heat now and just see how it goes. Keep an eye on it, make sure it doesn't foam over. Okay, that's what we want. That's the boil that we want right there. I'm gonna set the timer for 12 minutes. And we'll continue to boil at that rate uh, for 12 minutes. So in order to maintain that rate of simmer or boil, I've had to turn the burner back to a medium. Um, there's about six and a half minutes left and we'll probably be able to leave it at this uh, uh, for the duration. It's foaming up a little bit too much again, so just back a little bit. You kind of have to keep an eye on it for the last little bit here, uh, just to make sure that uh, you can get that, um, that right simmer or boil. I like it just about like this. Remove it from the heat now. Add a teaspoon of vanilla extract and a teaspoon of peppermint extract. Pour it immediately into a heat proof cup. I'm going to emphasize heat proof. Make sure that it is. Uh, it's going to be glass, heat proof. You don't want it to crack, you don't want it to melt. And the reason you pour it immediately is because if you continue to leave it in your heavy bottom saucepan, it will continue to thicken and you don't want that. Well, now I'm going to put this in the refrigerator and I'll check it after six to eight hours to see how thick the syrup gets.